someone is kind of consistently going up to 20 to 24 weeks because especially when someone wants neural tissue uh -huh. they're wanting you know they want fetal brain they want both hemispheres uh -huh. um, and uh, and they, for whatever reason like the sweet spot tends to be like 18 to 22 weeks okay um, just well I go up to 24 weeks uh -huh. um, there is um, there is a practice that kind of preferentially gets the um, the anomaly referrals. Right, no, we want healthy tissue, okay. yeah, healthy oh, yeah. normative. So most yeah, of yeah. My, the most of the patients that come to me are, ele are elected. Uh -huh. They present okay. themselves. And you go electively so, up to, to 24 weeks. weeks. Uh -huh. Okay. This week coming up, I have a 15 weeker on Tuesday so far. I have a 20 weeker starting on Thursday. So well, obviously, some of the parameters that we're working with then, tissue needs to be pretty much, you know, pretty intact. Because the more physically traumatized it gets, the more the stem cells get kind of mashed up and aren't available for collection. Um, now the thing is, I don't do induction. So like my technique uh -huh. is a disarticulation technique. So, uh -huh. um, so there would have, you know, we'd have to kind of talk about like exactly what it is that you're needing. Right, right. Because Breach it, position is great. <laughs> just throw that out there. Part of the issue is it's not it's, it's just it's not a matter of how I feel about it coming out intact. Uh -huh. But I gotta worry about my staff and uh -huh. you know, people's yeah. feelings about uh -huh. it coming out looking like a baby. Uh -huh. It's not a matter of how I feel about it coming out intact. Uh -huh. But I gotta worry about my staff and uh -huh. you know, people's yeah. feelings about uh -huh. it coming out looking like a baby. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A lot of variables going on. Uh -huh. right. So I don't right. because, you know, Didge kind of rules out. It ruins the integrity of the specimen. Um, I mean, it kills the stem cells. <laughs> I mean, so the thing is, it's really, and then that really is an issue because in Arizona, if, that, if the fetus is, the, is comes out with any signs of life, we're supposed to transport it. Uh-huh. Really? At any gestational age? Any gestational age. Is there any standard procedure for verifying signs of life? Well, the thing is, I didn't go on a chart. I mean, the key is you need to pay attention to who's in the room, right? The key is you need to pay attention to who's in the room, right? Research shows that DH doesn't make the procedure easier in someone who is well trained. But I have to tell you anecdotally, my my biceps appreciate when the DH works. <laughs> really? <laughs> so, and it's in the biceps just, when you're doing a DNA. It does not take me any longer to complete the procedure, but it is it takes more force. Really? What is it when? So when you're doing a when you're doing a non-dig DNA, it's your, that's where that's it where the. It takes a bit more. It know. takes a bit more. Yeah. Wow. So I remember when I was a fellow and I was kind of like, oh, I have to go to the gym for this. <laughs> You have to go to the gym in order to do it. What, what age, when does it start, what gestation does it start getting really difficult? Like it is like a workout. At 20. That's when it becomes difficult. It can get difficult. So. Reach makes it a lot easier because, yeah, sure. you know. Say. But the thing is, there's still going to have to be some decompression of the calvarium to uh -huh. come out. So. Interesting. Because, you know, Deb had, had mentioned to me that if you're doing, there's dilation that happens as the case goes on if you're if you're extracting from breach, and then at the end that if there's you know you do it enough and so then the you, then, then the calvarium can come out intact. For the most part, you know we're gonna start the procedure before we get to that point. So uh -huh. it's really like in order to get you an intact calvarium, if the patient's really gonna have to go into labor. Oh, it's gonna have to be essentially a DNA or essentially an induction. Yeah. Because generally, um, you know, especially in a breach presentation, everything's gonna come out and the head's gonna get trapped. Uh huh. Cool. That's usually what's gonna happen. Uh huh. And so generally, you know, then we just take four steps and you know do the rest. So um, ideally, you know, the patient would have dilated and the face enough that it just. Right. I mean. For the most part. Um, 
unless there's like complete dilation that's going to allow the hair to come out, there's going to be some level of decompression on the way yeah. out. Even if I have not completely like, 